here we are at the um, water meadows in Stevenage. Now, uh, a few years ago, I complained to the council. I did it originally in 1975, but uh, eventually the council put this fence up because this stuff here is the giant pottery, which has um, bad problems. If you brush against it, you can get a, a terrible rash that lasts for seven years and puts you in the hospital. Uh, but kids can still climb over this, I suppose, if they want you to. But all that, you look through there, and that is all, okay, it's been fenced off fine, uh, which is good. But that doesn't solve the problem because those seeds will blow through and go elsewhere. And I'll prove it in a minute. I'll take you somewhere where that hasn't been fenced off and it's spreading like wildfire. So just take a quick look at this and uh, I'll show you another place, all right? There you are, look at how much there is there of this giant hogweed. There is absolutely loads of it. You see, and putting a fence around it isn't going to stop it spreading, I'm afraid. Might stop kids from getting in there and getting hurt. But um, there you go. Now let's go off to somewhere else where it's running free. Well, here we are in sunny Stevenage, <laughs> and um, yeah, pigeons making there. We won't mention that. I just did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, anyway, we come down Ashdown Road here in in Stevenage, and over there is a lovely place uh, where we were at, uh, where they made an arboretum, lots of different trees over there. Um, and when we go down here, there's a lovely house over there, look at that, that's beautiful that house, isn't it? It's gorgeous. But we come round here, here instead. and Sorry. we'll show you something that I've been talking about for the past, how I many did I say? Oh, 49 years, anyway. It's been a long, long time. A long, long time. Well, uh, uh, back in 1975, I told the council about the giant hogweed, which is um, a, an invading plant from Russia, which, uh, if you brush against it, it causes a rash that can last for seven years and pe put people in hospital. This happened in 1975, actually, with a small boy. It's also happened with a girl later in the 80s um, and I've told the council how to get rid of it. Well here it is in Ashdown Road along the river bank or the, rather the, the stream here in the ditch that runs along here and you can see the size of those things right they grow very tall it looks a bit like cow parsley but it's larger but the thing is any kids playing around here I'd say there's buildings around, kids go to school from here, and if they brush them through their own leaves, they get a, and there's also some up by Asda and the College, which I was on the Anglia television about uh, a couple of times actually on there. But uh, let's take a little walk further up and see if we can find some more up on the stream. Okay? Cheers. Right, we just walked from up there, uh, about 50 yards down here following the brook and you can see loads, look at, look at them, look at them, loads of them. And you can say these things can cause a rash which can last uh, seven years or more and it's really painful. It stings and people finish up in hospital over it. But look, here it's sitting right here, right on the edge. You see that? Any kids coming along here, they say, oh pretty flowers, they're going to touch it. And these leaves here, will give you a, a nasty bite right over there. Look at the ball. Loads of them. And if you follow it up there, it's right along this bank. Alright, and then you come over this side, this bit of ground here, load it over there too. And as I say, I've told, I've been telling the council since 1975, it is now 2016. So that's 49, nearly 50 years. Next year it'll be 50 years I've been moaning at the council. And I'm going to show you on this video some um, some cartoons I did back in the 70s and throughout the 80s and when I was on television. And uh, we just plead 
the council to finally do something about it. It's no good chopping them back because the roots are terrible. And if they start laughing during flower now, it's June and in July, those seeds will spread too late and they've already got here. So they're going to take over Stevenage eventually. So please, Stevenage Borough Council, get rid of it before someone else gets seriously hurt. Thank you. now to gardeners, farmers or anyone who delights in country walks. If the cow parsley you encounter is well over 10 feet tall, then keep clear and consult an expert because it probably isn't cow parsley at all, but an imported and potentially harmful monster called giant hogweed. A mammoth weeding session at Stevenage in Hertfordshire has just cleared one outbreak of these unlovely plants. But elsewhere, the threat is far from over, as Owen Spencer Thomas now reports. These monster plants are not lethal like the fictional triffids, nor can they pull out their roots and move silently across the ground to strike their prey. Instead, the giant hogweed burns its victims with a poisonous sap, which it pumps through millions of hair-like thorns on its stem and leaves. An unsuspecting rambler may brush against the hogweed, which he could mistake for the harmless cow parsley. If he's allergic to its toxic juices, his flesh could erupt in blisters. That's what happened to two Stevenage schoolboys who were playing outside the town's college. One boy's arm is now scarred and his mother wonders just how permanent this will be. New colonies of this plant, which can grow over 10 feet tall, are establishing themselves in Hertfordshire. It was imported from Russia several centuries ago as a garden curio. Now it's one of four species Parliament has banned people from planting. Two Stevenage naturalists, Peter Perry and Frank Swan, have been campaigning against the giant hogweed for eight years. They say it's extremely I think dangerous. I that uh, plants are OK um, in their natural habitat, uh, possibly in a place where they can be controlled, uh, a botanical garden, something like that. But um, obviously, if something does harm to human or any other form of life, um, then it should, you should be careful where you plant it. Parliament has already banned people from planting this weed. Mm -hmm. Would you want stronger measures than that? Oh yes, definitely. Um, I mean, there's one thing to planting it, but obviously uh, this stuff is all over the country now and there's no measures to make people cut it down. And uh, this, is, this is what we'd like to see, you know. Um, there should be measures or legalities to stop people or make people cut it down once it is growing, stop it seeding and spreading, which is happening here. Would you actually like to see this plant abolished from the face of the earth? Oh no, no, not at all. I mean, it grows in, in Russia, in the well, Caucasian mountains, and there it's OK. I mean, you know, it's, it's way out of human habitation. It grows in its natural environment. But here, where you've got children playing, and in other pl places like that, where the public have got access, uh, it's just not on. You were talking of botanical gardens mm -hmm. earlier on. You would like to see it confined to these rather exactly. than as dangerous but rare animals are kept in zoos. That's exactly the, the idea, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you wouldn't allow tigers and lions to wander around where children are playing. They're kept in a, a special park. Likewise, plants like this should be kept in a, a special park. This latest incident has goaded the council who own the land around Stevenage College into swift action. They've cut down these plants too late. Next year, more giant hogweed will spring up from the long tap roots left beneath the soil. Meanwhile, these mature seeds have ripened in the sun and handfuls of these things will scatter throughout the area to produce next year's crop. And notice, just to be on the safe side, I've got a pair of gloves on. 
uh, in Spencer Thomas and the botanical beasties from Hertfordshire. Stevenage Council say they're now investigating better and more permanent methods of getting rid of the hogweed, otherwise it'll be back again next year. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow night. See you then. Until then, good night.